So hello, I have decided to go and make a video because I'm working on the Women's Federation report and it's fairly complicated. I don't know how interested everybody is in all the details and if anybody is even interested and yet I push myself, I think I should be sending out a report every month, but I never get any feedback. I don't know if anybody's reading it. I don't know if anybody's interested in it. I don't even feel called to push you to get involved because I believe it's an area that needs to be in the hands of people who are passionate about it. I'm passionate about a lot of things and I have a mentor who has told me that I need to focus and my focus right now is not just the Women's Federation for World Peace, it's a number of other things and one of the things I'm working on is the Learning by Doing group that I have also on Facebook where you can get more information about a lot of the areas that I'm working on. A few months ago, I offered to provide training on various areas, including social media as the PR manager for WFWP Europe and the Middle East. And right now I'm confronted with the challenges of the Facebook, which has been renamed Meta. And I'd like to just show you the various aspects. Let's go. I'll take you back to the to the beginning. Let's see if I can even get back there. Meta business. Okay, I can't even go into Facebook. So I hope it's got me the whole window. I'll go into Facebook. Okay, that does show Facebook. And I'll go into Women's Federation for World Peace. That's, I've got that here on my short list. If you don't have it, when you go into Facebook and you're on home, you can go into your groups here and then you can search for Women's Federation for World Peace. And I already have the, uh, it's a page actually, not a, okay, these are the groups, we, what we want. Okay, so that was the bad information because Women's Federation group has only got me in it because we have not been focusing on that. All right, so back home and Women's Federation is actually a page, okay? So we go to the pages and my four pages, these are the ones that I'm actually admin on and you might have to, when you find Women's Federation for World Peace, you might have to pin it so that you can see it here on your left side of Facebook when you go in. Now, I have been going here looking at the various reports for the month. And you can see all this new stuff, business tools, meta business suite. And to be honest, I have not spent enough time figuring it all out. But when I, and, and it's all about business, about making money or getting contact. So in Women's Federation, we have not been focusing on the financial aspects, but we do want to focus on promotion, on sending and sharing information. That was an executive decision that the WFWP Europe and Middle East decided to focus on Facebook and YouTube not the web page. So I keep reminding you that because I'm, yeah, honestly, a little bit overwhelmed with all of the different things. I know you all are as well, and I'm working to try and help you help us to master this situation. So let me just show you, Women's Federation has had 3,023 Facebook page reach during the month of May. So that's up 
when I click on here, the results report, we can see from the 8th of May until today, the 4th of June, that's 28 days. They give you a report of 28 days. And these are the number 483 people on the 9th of May, 465 on the 16th of May, 624 on the 25th of May. Now, if you go into the Women's Federation page, you can see Doris McCann posted yesterday. I posted on the 25th of May, that was a video recording of the CCPCJ, the side event that the Vienna Women's Federation, the Vienna UN Women's Federation hosted. Doris McCann also posted on the 25th of May about the WWP Ireland event. So you can see from the events here, how many people, you can always see the numbers underneath here, 850 people reached, okay? So this was published by Doris and it is the report from Anna from the Ukraine. And she just shared the report the way that Anna sent it in and 850 people were reached. So you can see these are the, the reports that are of interest that people want to hear about that are looking at, okay? So you can go back here and see the various events that have been posted, the different dates. And if you compare that to the peaks of the views, you may come to realize where our success is and where we could do more. So the, the, the pits <laughs> down here may be where we haven't been doing enough, okay? So 87 here on the 24th of May, the day before, and 624 on the 25th of May, okay? The Facebook page visits, 193, and Facebook page new likes, 20. That new meaning extra, uh, apart from the ones that we had before. So that's up 66.7%. So that's the results the content, it actually gives us an analysis, a rundown, how many people were reached for each event that was posted. There's the video recordings, the WWP Scotland, WFWP Ireland. So here you can see the numbers. So 403 people were reached with the WFWP Scotland article, 786 with the Ireland article, 889 the article about the Ukraine, 435 about the side event in Vienna, 124, the, that was probably the video, the live recording, the art contest. So you can see continuing here, the 31st Commission of Crime Prevention, 576 on the 16th of May. So these are the statistics and I'm showing you this in the video because it would be, it would take me a lot longer to put it all into a report. And I, I started writing the report, quite honestly. And I thought, yeah, but who's interested? Who reads it? I never even get any feedback. I don't know if anybody's even interested. But I wanted to share that with you. The audience is also another aspect. You can see that, again, the same figure, 3,062 likes, according to age and gender. So women and men, age 18 to 24, 25 to 34 is the biggest group, 14.7% women, 11.9% men. And you can see it is women 60% and men 39% in the total, okay? In the 60 plus, 9.6% 9 .6 of women are 65 plus. You can also see the demographics. 3.2% from Vienna, Austria, 2.5% London, 1.2% Tirana, Albania, 1% Lisbon, Portugal. So can you see which sisters are promoting and doing something? 
New York, 1%, Bangkok, 0.8%, on and on. And then the top countries, 10% from USA, 7% from the United Kingdom, 5% from Austria, 4% from the Philippines, 4% from Italy, 3% from Japan, 3 from Brazil, nearly 3 from Korea, 2 from France, and 2 from Portugal. So these are the figures. I wanted to share them with you. And if you're really interested, you can go into the Facebook page here and have a look. Uh, yes, it's a page, Facebook page. And you can have a look at the posts and stories and see the different aspects that we're talking about. And while I'm here, let me just go into the YouTube because this can round off my report for May. The YouTube channel got 140 views in the last 28 days. So I already started that in my report. And that is the um, 140 views compared to 180 in March. And the watch time was eight hours compared to 46 hours in March. And the number of subscribers we have is currently 55 and we had 49 in March. So we want to reach 100 subscribers so that we can live stream directly over YouTube. And that's about it from me now. And I think I will also post this video on my learning by doing group to encourage people to spend a bit of time figuring these things out so it's not really that straightforward anymore and i i just had to share that with you because honestly i am a little bit frustrated i've got other projects that i need to focus on and i feel obliged to do this and when I don't get any feedback, I think, what's the point? So this is a bit of a plea for some feedback of one type or of another, either somebody who really wants to do it as well, or somebody telling me this, forget it, don't worry about it, don't do it. Um, I really believe in all of the activities that we're doing, and I know I am fairly typical in my feelings of inadequacy of not being good enough, not doing enough. Yet I do realize how much each one of you is doing and I really want to merit and honor and promote the value of all of those activities that all of our precious sisters are doing all around the world. On that note, that's it till next time.